Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to be showing you a new strategy with which we make sure that uh, multiple fillets have a good blend going on. So in this case, I've got an imported body and if I zoom into this area, I've got three different fillets in this particular area. Now where these three fillets meet, we have a surface that's, uh, that's being made and uh, our job is to make sure that this is a good good surface. So the first step we do is we delete that face in order to create a new surface over here. And then one of the easiest uh, tools to use uh, uh, to create a surface over here would be a surface loft tool using these two profiles and uh, that edge is a guide curve. I've uh, done that for us uh, to save some time as well. Um, so if I show you the surface loft, I've got a nice surface going on over here. Now the surface might look nice, but uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a good blend between all these different fillets. We can uh, do some evaluation to see uh, what uh, these blends look like. So if I right click on the surface and I go to my curvature tool, I do see some uh, nice radius of curvatures all around, but also if I look in the top area over here, I see some flatness. So there's uh, some flatness happening where the radius of the curvature is going super low. So. I want to show you this new method by which we can make sure that we've got a nice blend between these three surfaces. So the first thing I will do is uh, I'll either delete or I'll suppress this uh, particular uh, uh, surface loft that we've created. My next step is to check for uh, what my radius of curvatures are for on all these three fillets. So whatever the minimum radi radius of curvature is on all these fillets is what uh, we want to uh, keep in mind as our minimum uh, number to go with. So I've held control and I've selected these three faces. Now if I go to my evaluate tab and if I hit on this uh, uh, check command, I get the ability of selecting either all solids or uh, if I want to look at uh, the information on uh, selected items. So in this case I'll do selected items and you'll notice so the three, three faces that we've selected are right here. Now in this case I don't want to look for any invalid faces or edges or open surfaces. I just want to look for my minimum radius of curvature. I select that in the box, I hit the check and I get uh, these three results. So three faces, three results. If I select the first one, it tells me the minimum radius of curvature is about 2.7992. We'll approximate it and call it 8, 2.8. Uh, this one, uh, this fillet has a minimum radius of uh, 3 millimeters. And the last fillet uh, has a minimum radius of 2.8 uh, millimeters. So as long as uh, we are uh, above 3, we should be good to go. Okay, so once we uh, check for uh, uh, these minimum radius of curvatures, I can cancel out of this window and I can start working on my surfaces. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to capture all the other surfaces that are around these fillets. So for example, I'll hold this and I'll hold this and I'll hold this. Um, so I select, hold control and I select all these things. And uh, what I want to do is I want to make an offset from these three surfaces. So I'll go to my surface surfacing tool and I'll select offset surface and instead of a 10 millimeter offset I'll give it a 0 millimeter offset. So it's creating a surface exactly on those faces. Okay so once uh, once we select him and uh, give it a 0 millimeter offset let's hit the green check and you notice uh, now we've got uh, multiple surface bodies. So surface offset here, here, and here, and then we've got the delete delete face command. So let's go ahead to make life e a little easier for us. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hide the three surfaces uh, that we just barely created. Perfect. So once you hide them, you should see something like this in your model. And uh, now, uh, since we have an offset of those three surfaces, I want to be able to delete these faces, all of these faces. So I'll select my delete face tool. So I'll go into my uh, direct editing tab, select my delete face tool, and I'll start selecting these faces, one, two, three, and I'll select this, this, and this. So six faces in total. I'm removing this entire region uh, of uh, surfaces, basically. Again, I'm just selecting a delete and not doing a delete and a patch. So we'll just select here and hit the green check. And what that does is it removes our... Uh, um, uh, it removes those faces basically from uh, from the model. So you, if it's a solid body, your solid body is now converted into a, a surface body. Now, if you notice my surface body folders, I've got multiple different surfaces over here. 
So let's do this. Now I'm going to hide, I'm going to show all the other surfaces and I'm going to hide the delete face surface that's there. So I'll show these surfaces and I'll uh, hide this guy. So we're working with something like this. Now these are the original surfaces from that uh, imported geometry. I can use these surfaces to kind of extend my, uh, these edges and wherever all these edges will blend, wherever all these edges will meet, will give me a nicer edge to kind of create this fillet on. So let's see how this works. I'm going to go back into my surfacing tool and the tool that I want to use to extend these surfaces is called Extend Surface. Now, there's a couple of different ways of uh, finding this. I can either look for my Command Manager tab and I can see the Extend Surface tool or you have this Command Manager search. Like if you look, if you hit this pull down menu, go to Commands, you have the ability of searching uh, for tools, so we can do extend. We can just type extend, and the first step, uh, the first feature that pops up is your extend surface. Let's grab that tool. I'm going to create uh, uh, an end condition of about five millimeters. Now, this five millimeters is what the number has to be bigger than what was my minimum radius uh, of curvature. So my, my my minimum radius of curvature was about three millimeters. So I'm using this uh, five and then I can just select uh, these edges to kind of create uh, these extensions. So I can select these two faces and it creates it for us. And uh, we'll do the same exact stuff uh, for all these other or all the, the other remaining surfaces as well. So if I hit the green check, you notice how this extends a little bit. Repeat this process for the other surfaces, like I mentioned. So I'll select this edge and I'll select this edge. It, uh, it uh, cuts the um, the surface on the other side as well and intersects it. And lastly, we're going to do it for this particular uh, face as well. So I'll extend my surface. I'll select this face and I'll select the other face and it extends. Brilliant green check. So now that I have this nice little blend going on of these surfaces coming coming and in, interacting with each other, I have the ability of using my trim tool. So under my surfaces I've got trim tool and over here I can tell SOLIDWORKS uh, if I want to um, do a standard uh, trim or a mutual trim. In this case it will be a mutual trim since we've got all these uh, different uh, uh, bodies connected over here. So I'll select all these uh, three bodies basically. One two and three and uh, if I want to uh, it depends if I want to keep or if I want to remove selection so I want to keep selections I want to select this box I want to keep this face I want to keep this face and I want to keep this face so once you have those three faces selected SOLIDWORKS knows all the extra stuff that you want to uh, emit or you want to not be a part of this particular uh, trim if I hit the green check, it gives you that nice uh, little uh, blend that we were talking about. And now I have the ability of adding fillets on this particular surface easily as compared to the other ones. So I can go ahead and uh, I can grab my fillet tool and I can define uh, multiple radius fillets over here. And I can, let's define uh, a 2.8 millimeter fillet on that edge, that edge, and that edge. Let's make this one three millimeters and hit the green check. So that way, we uh, this is another strategy for us to kind of uh, create a better looking um, surface where we've got more than one fillet interacting with each other. And this way, now I've got a surface that's ready to go, ready to uh, uh, being used in my original uh, body. Now what I can do is I can show my original body and these surfaces over here and the last thing I would uh, uh, need to do is uh, uh, do a knitting together so all of these uh, surfaces can join together again that's the last step so we're gonna look at surfaces one of the tool over here is knit surface and I can select all these faces uh, to uh, for it to blend uh, I do have the ability if this creates a fully enclosed volume I have the ability of creating a solid as well so I'll uh, select that create solid and hit the green check and now you notice uh, we've got a better looking fillet in there and again this is not a surface body anymore this is a full on solid body so um, I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, video uh, about uh, how to fix more than uh, how to fix a surface when we've got more than uh, two fillets kind of joining together. <music>